Well, tomorrow is Bastille Day, uh, while on Saturday, Beware the Ides of July, especially if you go to the beach and forget your sunscreen. Now, we're at midsummer, folks, and what could be more seasonal than some weekend picks from none other than Dick and Dave? It's half full. That's Richard Burroughs of the Brooklyn Reader, the very same man who's recently been spotted riding a carousel. Welcome back. Bung. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And David Cologne of Gothamist, who, uh, you know, he just thinks life is one big carousel anyway. I have Bonjour, David. How are you? I am fantastic. King, the, welcome. Uh, Peja. Peja Stoyakovic. It's a great, great Kings team. There you Late go. Late 90s. Pro, early, early 2000s. And the beard, though. And the beard, though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Look what at them. What you can use. Now, what could be more summery than a nice cold glass of beer? Well, anybody out of beer? Oh, yes. It's Danny Bruckert, the head brewer at the brand new, their newly opened Circa Brewery, just a few blocks from here, right on Livingston Street. Welcome to BK Live, Thank sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me. See about some friends with I you. I did. I, I brought some refreshments, two very special beverages. It's that we'll technically a growler. This is a growler. Growler. This is a rudimentary serving beverage for uh, carrying large quantities of beer uh, quite easily. Right. That's so scientifically. Exactly. Yeah. Rudimentary <laughs> Well, you know, you need uh, you need to have the beer that you take on the walks in Prospect Park. Yeah, right? There you Things go. Like you just need fingers. So, can you, or do they make big enough paper bags for these? Uh, uh, you know, I think they do. Um, I think they do, actually. But you might have to pay for them these days. I'm right. not sure. Right. Yeah, they yeah, don't give that stuff out for free anymore. So no, how many free. varietals are you guys brewing up down at Circa Brewery on Living Street in Brooklyn? Well, Lawrence, ideally, right? we would have... Yes, it's on. It's at 141 Lawrence Street, okay. downtown Brooklyn. Uh, ideally, we would have 12 varieties. Uh, we're serving all the beer in house, so how many beers we have on tap really depends on how quickly people are drinking them. Uh -huh. um, but we, we're, we're scheduled to have 12 beers, and uh, these are two of those beers. Uh, if you'd like, I can start pouring. Yeah, uh, let's pour that, it out. That sound good. So if you have 12, which one is the real dog? Like you've got just gallons and gallons of this beer left that you just got to. Oh, is it no dogs down there? You know, no. I'm, I, I really, I don't think <laughs> there are going to be any dogs. Okay. I don't think so. Um, I'm curious to see myself. I mean, there's always one that's lagging behind, but I've been tasting them and... Uh those local you know what taste. I think we should do, and you won't have to pay me for this or anything. Just get like a chalkboard and then like have the barrels and show which is the most popular and which people should try. There you go. More, right? There you go. Because that, that would be interesting. Like, right, oh, my right. beer's I mean, winning. Like a barrel rating. Yeah, well, people well, could how, even put down cash on it. Beer to be a head brewer. Uh, well, you know, I've been brewing beer professionally for about eight years now. Oh, okay. um, it started as a hobby, and I was doing it for five or six years as a hobby until I decided to turn my hobby into a profession. So it's the fastest way to hate something if you yeah. want to do it. But no, I love my love my job, and uh, I've been doing it for about eight years. Did I was you used at to six be point like an investment banker before. No, no, I, uh, that's the thing, right? Yeah. I was. I came to New York to six study months. the arts. Okay. And, uh, Marshall beer is up. art. <laughs> Marshall? Beer is and art. Beer, beer is art. Okay. Beer is art. It's a lot of science, but it's a lot of art, too. And um, right. we have some of that right here. Yeah, we were interrupting. Right. You were meant to be pouring. No, you know, I just, I, I want to I wanna introduce this very special beverage. Okay. There's nothing that a brewer loves more than sharing the fruits of his labor Where's Charlie with Hoxie? people. Yeah. So the first <laughs> beer that we're going to taste is a, uh, it's a historic beer. Oh. It started uh, sometime around the 17th century in wow. near Berlin. Uh, the beer this is called. This very one is like from the 17th yeah, this century. Recipe. This is I've a just been keeping it in uh, it's a family <laughs> heirloom. Right, right, up in Alaska. That's right, but that's it's right. It's a recipe. So it's a take on a style. Okay. And the style is Berliner Weiss. And this style obviously started in Germany. Yeah. Napoleon him, himself dubbed it the Champagne of the North. Oh, I like Champagne. Uh, there you go. So that was before the Champagne of Beers. <laughs> <laughs> but after right. the King Circa of the North. Circa 19. <laughs> and after the King of the North, the Game of Thrones coming up. There you go. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Now, this beer is, uh, is considered a sour beer. Oh, this it's, is the one I'm going to like. This is the one that Thank I you. think you're going to love. This, in hot weather... Forget about it. It's right, unbelievable. Right, right. Because we, uh, Danny and I, had a little conversation pre-show where I let him know I'm not the biggest beer fan. I learned how much you love beer. Right. 
and how I much you're going to love this beer. So this beer is put through a, a different process than normal beer. Uh, bacteria is introduced, mm. and that bacteria is allowed to do its magic for uh, a couple days, and that creates uh, a lactic acidity, mm. and it adds a very refreshing element to the beer. Lactic acidity, right. like yeah. milk? Well, here's right. the weekend. Here's okay, okay. This is where are we going? We got a boogie now. Oh, Who's Auntie's House. There? Auntie's House. So, Auntie's House is like a comedy show, DJ night at the People's Garden. The People's Garden is on Broadway. I like mm. it. Oh, my God, I didn't taste it yet. So, okay. I'm going to get that whole mustache thing. I was not even expecting that. Danny was never wrong. Brian? A Brian? comedy show from Kofi really Thomas and Chris Daniels is a comedy show. Oh, that's good. That's really Take good. Take us to Auntie's House, please. Yeah, Auntie's House is a um, comedy show and a party. Um, it's a... Uh, at the People's Garden, which is on Green and in, uh, in Broadway, that yeah. that garden is really popping right now. They do a lot of good that. programming for the summer, so it'd be a comedy show, it's a cookout, it's a party. Um, they have this uh, uh, headlining by this thing called Doug Passion. These two comedians oh, yeah. that do the, the DJ yeah. comedy thing. I don't know how it goes, but it's two of them. They do a comedy DJ duo thing. And that's Auntie's house. You know, Auntie's house. How did you get that picture of me? That's me with the Nike sweatshirt on my auntie. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. You know, Auntie like my auntie always got porch. something on the stove. Would yeah. you like sip her wine cooler when you was young? That Auntie. Auntie's house. Party at Auntie's house. I love you, Auntie. There you go. Yes, I love yes. you, Auntie. All right. Oh, so uh, here's here's a fun thing. Very Beautiful. nice, uh, young, very polite, uh, political, politically minded <laughs> people from the dirtbag left. Uh, <laughs> Chapo Trap House and Jacobin will be coming together at uh, a, a, a down at, at Roulette, uh, down right down Atlantic Avenue, actually, uh, for a Bastille Day party. Because what could be a better thing to celebrate today in America than the time that an angry mob stormed a prison uh, and let everybody, let all the political prisoners out? Right. I can't well, think Trump of anything. Trump in Paris today. That are right. Maybe there'll be a two. Right. I mean, there's going to probably right. be some some protests. Uh, but so uh, um, people from uh, Chapo Trap House, the uh, much beloved uh, podcast, and uh, Jacobin, the um, uh, you know resurgent uh, socialist magazine, will be uh, talking with each other. Uh, and uh, they're, they're recording a live episode of the show, I guess. Um, yeah, right. cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's 15 bucks. What better thing to go check out on a Friday night? And right. be, be on, you get on your Frenchie. Get on your Frenchie right there. Yeah, you better get your French on. Can yeah, I give some on. appreciation to Danny on, and the people at Circa Brewery as well? Because I'm drinking this even off camera. Hey, man. It's <laughs> real. That is true. It's, it's real. That pretty is pretty true. Really good. Sorry, that is true. true. It's All right, what's going on, Dick? All right, so um, I don't know if you go downstairs into, you know, your parents' uh, little little cabinet they keep down there that still says uh, don't touch. They probably have some like porno on VHS. So VHS is having a Sorry, museum man. dedicated yeah. to VHS. Of so all is the that is, exactly is that Super Chief Gallery over there on that Bushwick um, Ridgewood Borders area. Yeah. Um, and it's like all that they're gonna have like uh, some VHS vendors. They're going to be also showing some VHS movies and they're gonna have like sort of art that's created from uh, the VHS. HS cassettes. And you literally like have, have people a lot of Googling VHS, VHS, VHS right now. We have right a lot. Now, have a lot. What is a VHS? Are, what is a VHS? A lot, but right, this right. is a thing that I just never. But do you play a really? VHS or here? I, some, I, I feel like you have wrestling tapes on VHS. I have a single ECW tape that I got off of eBay <laughs> when I was a kid. It's at my parents' house still. What's going on? Uh, right? Dogs and clothes. People love dogs and clothes. Uh, so why not go to Freddy's? Because yeah. people also love alcohol. Uh, and what? you can uh, drink and you can also see some dogs and clothes at a dog fashion show. It's amazing. You know, mm -hmm. these are going to be very well trained dogs, obviously. Uh, very well because dressed. They, and Our because boy, they're Grant so Johnson well dressed. And I were there last right, year. Right, there you go. Uh, right. Recommended go by Archive. Brian Vines we also. It's, uh, it's a good time and it helps benefit uh, no kill uh, animal shelter. You know, it's uh, just really one. important to, oh. uh, you know, help the to. Help the shelter the and, uh, you, like me to you know, yeah, uh, yes. enjoy some dogs. It's good for your mental health. It's true. Go to our YouTube channel. You can check it out. Saturday. For last and it's year. free. Steve DeSev produced that thing. It was fun. Those Steve dogs. Right. They were a lot. Now, Dave, what, what's this uh, brew we're about to test right here? So the, the second beer that I brought, and I, I really had to come to terms with bringing this because this beer isn't quite finished yet. Oh. It's done Ooh. fermenting, but you guys are going to be probably the first tasters of this beer, and I'd like to say Ooh. you're the first ones to have any growlers really? from Circa Ooh. Beer. So. 
You know, it, uh, this you is a big deal. Friends. It's a big deal. So yes. This, this beer is going to come across maybe slightly flat, but <laughs> it is, it's delicious. It's uh, an IPA. Mm -hmm. You guys all know what IPA is, yeah, India yeah. Pale Ale. It's bitter. Uh, yes, it's bitter. It's like definitely that. one of the most popular styles in cr the craft beer industry. I like it. Okay, while you're pouring, let's, let's go on to the next thing. we got two minutes, 90 so seconds. Crushed, crushed is a dirty Here. book fair. Um, and by dirty books, I, mean, I don't mean books like that haven't been cleaned. I mean like dirty books that's like dirty, like it's kind of like porno. Um, it's kind of like erotic stuff. art. <laughs> um, it's like a whole sort of uh, thing around erotic, eroticism, erotica. Short for um, and it's at, um, at, uh, at Point Green Studios. And it's gonna be really cool. If you go there, Ooh. you'll see things that maybe will open up your minds and your third eye, or maybe I get like your that. second head right. right. We got one minute left. Go. Out in the streets. Great music festival. It's been happening for, God, like five or six years now at this point. It used to be at Brooklyn Fireproof. It then was at uh, the Vander and Underdonk House. It's a shame that it won't be there in the big old field uh, this year, but it will be at the Well in Bushwick. People like the Well. Yeah, I like see the a whole lot of music. There'll be food. There'll be a whole lot of stuff, uh, uh, camaraderie. Uh, so check it out. It's Saturday and Sunday, and it's just 15 bucks. That's right. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Can I mention one thing that I'm doing this weekend? I'm going to Rooftop Films tomorrow. They're going to be showing an amazing film up on the roof. I pulled Charlie Hoxie, our Ace Award winning, hey, oh. uh, Emmy Award winning producer, who's also our resident Brewmaster. brewer guy Ooh. here. Nice. I hey, wanted nice him to know. bite the bullet and drink my IPA, <laughs> but Aaron yeah, Charlie just walked on set. Look, that's the thing, Charlie just walked on set. I like that about Charlie. Look. Now, I also have to mention one thing that is happening this week weekend as well, Curl Fest, for those who don't, don't know, it's oh, yeah, going to be at Prospect yeah. Park, 12 to 7 p.m., Yes. Uh, and they also have some events Friday the 14th as well, so check it out, Curl Fest, so many people have responded, they yeah. like actually broke the website. You can so. watch me. Yeah, that's why you're talking about well. Curl Fest, because like, right. everyone knows about Curl Fest already. Okay, we ran out of, uh, out of time here, so okay. let's...